<clears throat> A very happy evening to all of you. Namaste. Hi. Hello. Sat Sri Akal. It is a great pleasure, privilege and honor once again to be with all of you on the occasion of the World Mental Health Day that we are observing today. Of course, we are observing the World Mental Health Day to spread and increase the awareness of prioritizing our mental health, giving importance to the subject matter and taking off that taboo status, that taboo status away from the subject of mental health. But I'm so very grateful to all of you, our lovely Instagram community and to all of you, our lovely Facebook community for joining us here this evening for our World Mental Health Day live session. Once upon a time, people used to say that if wealth is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. But if character is lost, everything is lost. And today things have changed a little bit. We kind of start thinking that if character is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. If wealth is lost, everything is lost. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, wealth is important, but health is everything. Character is everything. Our physical health, our mental health, our emotional health, our social health, our spiritual health, our holistic health, our holistic wellness is extremely crucial and extremely important because how well we are in terms of our health defines and decides the experience of happiness, the experience of joy that we all have in our lives. Imagine yourself on a fantastic holiday in Maldives. And if you're there on the shores of the ocean, lying on the soft sands of the beach in Maldives, and you have some physical ailment, let's say a stomach upset, or let's say a high fever, you're not going to be able to experience happiness and joy simply because your health is not right. Imagine if your mental health is not right. Imagine if one is in a state of severe depression. Imagine if one is severely anxious, stressed. Imagine if one is feeling severely lonely, left out. Imagine if one is messed up in the mind. One could be in the best holiday location. One could be on this beautiful beach, lying down in the fantastic soft sands, looking at the beautiful aquamarine water of the ocean, looking at the beautiful blue sky but still not experience that joy, experience that happiness. You know why? Because the mind is not together. If our physical health is not right and not in place, we can't experience happiness. If our mental health is not in place and not right, we cannot experience happiness. If we want to experience true joy, if we want to experience true happiness, if we want to perform well in whatever it is that we are doing, we need to keep our health in place. We need to keep our physical health in place. We need to keep our mental health in place as well. But we talk a lot about physical fitness. But we sadly do not talk so much about mental fitness. Don't they say we kind of end up spending our health to gain so much wealth. And then we have to end up spending all our wealth to regain our health back Again, it's so important, therefore, to pause, to prioritize, to wait a little bit. Yes, wealth is important. Yes, growth is important. Yes, success is, success is important. Yes, achievements are important. Yes, going up the corporate ladder is important. Yes, getting up there, fulfilling your ambitions, fulfilling your aspirations, fulfilling your, fulfilling your dreams is important. But we can do it all properly happily, with satisfaction, if we also pause and give attention to and prioritize our mental health as we prioritize our physical health as well. And therefore, don't they say, where attention goes, energy flows. If you decide to lose your weight physically, you need to give attention to it, prioritize it, where attention goes, energy flows, you start doing it. We want to prioritize, if you want to keep robust mental health, we need to give attention to it. And when attention goes, energy flows. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, 
on this world mental health day i would like to make an appeal to all of you attending this session and everybody who will probably be later watching this video please 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 give great importance to your mental health as well when it comes to our physical health we go for a routine check up sometimes a bi monthly a quarterly or a half yearly or a yearly check up to see if our cholesterol our sugar our vitamins um all the other <coughs> elements and aspects of our body are functioning right but when it comes to our mental health there's no routine check ups mental health ke liye koi routine check up nahi hum log kiske paas jayenge and when i say routine check ups it's not that we necessarily need to go to a mental health professional or a therapist to get a routine check up done yes if we are traumatized abused and if the things are very severe we need that too we can ourselves do a regular routine check up to see if our mental health is in place what are the aspects to check if our mental health is in place number 1 we all feel low guys we all feel depressed we all we hit rock bottom at times but if we can bounce back if it doesn't go into a state of chronic negativity if we can bounce back if we can come out of that negativity if we can come out of that depression if we can come out of that hopelessness if we can come out of that low phase that we are going through inside our minds our mental health is in place we are good, doing good hum sabko low lagne wala hai hum sabko depressed lagne wala hai ek ne insaan hai bhai machine nahi we are human beings we are not machines and because we are human beings we are going to feel low you know going to feel great all the time you're going to feel low you're going to feel rubbish you're going to feel trash sometimes it's fine but as long as you can come back as long as you can bounce back the quicker you bounce back the earlier you can come out of it that's how well you are doing in your mental health what is another parameter to see if my mental health is doing well if i'm confident if i feel confident if i feel hope if i feel positivity नेगेटिव तो लगता ही है वरी तो होता ही है स्ट्रेस तो होता ही है प्रेशर तो होता ही है एग्जाम डेडलाइंस, वर्क डेडलाइंस, टारगेट्स टू मीट गुडनेस मी वी आर ह्यूमंस विद द मशीन एंड वन ऑफ द पार्ट्स द मशीन इज द माइंड सो वी गोट फील दिस एंड दैट्स ओके बट इफ यू गोइंग टू बी कॉन्स्टेंटली स्ट्रेस ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन ऑल मंथ्स ऑफ दर और सेवरल वीक्स एट अ टाइम टाइम टू रियली पे अटेंशन टू सी इफ आर मेंटल हेल्थ इज इन प्लेस If I'm worried, normal ना मेरी शादी होगी क्या वो लड़की मेरे प्रपोजल को मान जाएगी क्या मुझे ये अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलेगा क्या मुझे ये जॉब मिलेगा क्या मैं एग्जाम में पास हो जाऊंगा क्या मुझे मेरा बिजनेस अच्छा चलेगा क्या दैट वरी इज गुड बी देर बट इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी वर्ड ऑल द टाइम यू आर डूइंग गुड इन योर मेंटल हेल्थ वॉट्स अन अदर पैरामीटर टू check if your mental health is in place and it's doing fine and it's going good how how are your interpersonal dealings yes some of us are introverts and we may speak less some of us are extroverts and we may speak more introverts may not express themselves as much extroverts may be extremely expressive and all the time going around and making new friends and connecting to a lot of people and networking and introverts might not be able to do it all that much that's okay that's a nature trait but are we comfortable being with people or do we want to lock ourselves up do we feel lonely even amongst in in the midst of hundreds of people around if i find myself lonely when i'm with my family if i find myself lonely when i'm with my friends if i find myself lonely when i'm with my colleagues if i find myself lonely when i'm dealing with so many people around i think it's time to look at our mental health guys bahut zaruri hai dekhna फिर कुछ तो सीरियसली रॉन्ग हो सकता है सो यस वी डोंट हैव टू गो फॉर अ रूटीन चेकअप टू मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल अ थेरेपिस्ट और अ साइकाइट्रिस्ट और अ साइकोलॉजिस्ट अनलेस वी हैव सीरियस इश्यूज इन अ जनरल केस सिनेरियो वी कैन डू अ रूटीन चेकअप आवर सेल्स डिप्रेशन होगा नेगेटिविटी होगा वरी होगा थोड़ा लोगों से भी हम लोग कभी कभी डिसकनेक्ट करते हैं अपने स्पेस के लिए बट एज लॉन्ग एज द रिलेशनशिप्स आर रेगुलर अगेन एज लॉन्ग एज वी कैन बाउंस बैक अगेन एब्सोल्युटली फाइन गाइस सो डोंट स्टार्ट थिंकिंग माय मेंटल हेल्थ इज अ प्रॉब्लम जस्ट बिकॉज आई फील लो इफ यू कैन कम बैक आउट नो प्रॉब्लम बट इफ यू कांट लेट्स टेक दैट टैबू अवे एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट 
that we consider our mental health like our physical health as well it's important that we like for our physical wealth health we go to a professional doctor therapist fitness professionals it's also crucial for us for our mental health then to look at some expertise pro- expert professional help to sort out the issues that we go through in our minds but once again a loud shout out to our instagram community any op- optimistic rajan mehra ragini singh a wellness coach thank you for joining us sidhar chawan sindhu pradesh very very glad that you here gautam goswami it's unique prince paul hello there triptified i like that triptified datta thank you thank you poonam wish thank you for joining our instagram community lovely community ritik sharan say i'm so happy you guys are here lovely facebook community arpita ghosh sayed faizan thank you so much for joining sunil kumar sunil panda aruna raja ram apurva barot so so happy that you're here with us this evening i'm amma choudhury <coughs> thank you again for joining Shobha Verma and Shilpi Rani, thank you. I'll once again call out a few names as we continue our live session for this evening. But like I said, let's start treating our mental health with as much importance as we start treat as we treat our physical health as well. Shall I say not as much importance, but more importance? Because even though the fifth body is a little ill, but the mind is sound. we can still take a lot in our stride and move on didn't john milton say mind by itself can turn heaven into hell and hell into heaven we may be in the heavenliest situation and think it's hellish if the mind is messed up and we may be in the hellish situation and think that it's heaven if the mind is together with us so i would like to share a couple of my thoughts this evening on how to maintain robust mental health अपने मेंटल हेल्थ को सही तरीके से कैसे बनाए रखे अनहेल्दी unhealthy influences can come on to you as well if they are infected they will infect you whilst we were going through covid we knew that we were staying away from positive people not <laughs> for the first time we were staying away from positive people why because that covid could come on to us and like we keep a distance from people who are not healthy so that we don't catch that disease it is very very crucial to maintain good mental health to draw our boundaries very clear hamari lines or boundaries bahut clear honi chahiye we should allow only those people who are good for our mental health within that boundary we should allow only those people who cast a positive influence on us create a positive aura around us create a positive impact on our mind our mental health on our health on our inspiration on our internal spirit we should allow those people in our space we should allow people who are well wishers we should allow people who are genuinely concerned about us we should allow people who love us who we should allow people who are genuinely concerned about our welfare and not people who are very negative who are jealous who are envious who as some people term them are called energy vampires <coughs> we shouldn't allow people such people to enter into our space you know why because they will affect our mental health i i hate branding people as toxic i don't like to call people toxic because whether their intention is to affect us in a negative way or their intention is not and because of nature they do it we don't want to call anybody toxic but if the influence of such people on our minds is toxic we need to keep them outside the boundary we need to keep them at the bay agar kisi bhi insaan ka hamare mental health par toxic prabhav padta hai na to aise insaan ko dur rakhna chahiye why should we live with toxicity why should we live with negativity if someone's casting that influence on us some people are like that intentionally or unintentionally and they may not be so for others but for us if they are the, they are 
people like these it's very crucial and important that we keep them at a distance keep safe distance some people ask me but uh, you know prabhu ji guru ji uh, when at our workplace sometimes such people are in our family sometimes such people who cause make our mind so toxic by the way they behave by the way they speak by the way their energy is by the way their neck aura is they just make us so toxic such people could be within our family such people could be within our work circle our colleagues at our workplace such people could be in our friend circles and social circles what do we do then maintain a high hello relationship you don't need to necessarily cut off from people unless they are really 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 completely negative and you just cannot connect and it's required we need to but in most cases we don't need to completely cut off when do such people of start making us toxic or start affecting us in toxic ways when we take them within that boundary keep them at the safe distance keep them outside that boundary do the needful kaam kara lo kaam kar lo saath mein jo bhi hai wo kar lo jitna zaruri hai utna interaction to duniya mein rakhna hi padta hai ji but but you have to know when do people actually start influencing our minds when we start spending time with them when we start hanging out with them when we start sharing our hearts with them when we start speaking the intimate things of our hearts with them when we share a lot of meals with them that's when they start getting into our minds as long as we don't do these things we are good to go by doing the needful so the first principle guys of keeping good mental health is stay away from those people who are bad for your mental health stay away from those people who affect your mind in negative ways stay away from those people who make your minds filled with toxicity and negativity do the needful work with them but don't get close and hang out with them the influence on your minds will be extremely negative draw your boundaries clear and see who should be within the boundary who should be just at the boundary and who should be outside the boundary you decide that for yourself if you want to safeguard your mental health and if you want to keep your mental health robust and going well and healthy the second principle that i wanted to talk to all of you about before that a couple of uh shout outs on our instagram 786 guncha vignesh hari haran minty manu thank you for joining chaudhary dushant panwar manu kushwa krishna uri bindi hi guru ji garu krishna garu hi there uh, i like calling garu <laughs> vinay thakre punam vish unfix your feelings oh thank you for joining unfix your feelings uh me sandeep pathak just joined us and mr gp hari krishna rohan choudhury arjun dubey and satish basavaraj oh thank you so much yes unfix your feelings indeed boundaries are definitely self care 100% we need to draw our boundaries if we need to braj bihari prabhu thank you for being there so happy that you are here ananya i'm so happy to see you here ananya so glad that you've joined us this evening hopefully we can see each other very soon as well uh, sangvi rushali and stolen queen thank you very much for being with us this evening and here on our facebook page we have akki and pooja nagar nitin khadigaonkar sunanda bhattacharya urvesh karnik thank you so much for being with us sushmita mainali and shua chakraborty so so glad that you are with us today nisha nk ha main to hindi mein bhi bolta hu kabhi kabhi beech mein शुअली थोड़ा थोड़ा हिंदी में भी बोलूंगा जरूर दिनेश परमार रूपनाथ थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग सर बोनी मुखर्जी वेरी ग्लैड दैट यू विथ हियर विथ अस हियर दिस इवनिंग थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अगेन द सेकंड एस्पेक्ट दैट आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट इज दिस फॉर फिजिकल हेल्थ वी कीप अनहेल्दी पीपल अवे फर्स्ट पॉइंट सिमिलरली फॉर आर मेंटल हेल्थ वी शुड कीप दोज अनहेल्दी पीपल हु मेक अस टॉक्सिक अवे द सेकंड प्रिंसिपल for good physical wellness physical fitness we we regularly practice yoga weight training jogging whatever the variety of exercises exercise is an important aspect of keeping good physical health guys every day in the morning for about 45 minutes to an hour 
I try and give time to my physical exercise as well. All of us who want to stay physically fit will give attention and time to our exercise regimen, to our exercise routine. Important. It is also important for our mental wellness and mental health that we have some exercise. To keep our physical body active, to keep our physical body and all the muscles in shape and working, that's physical exercises. To keep our mental muscles working, to be mentally active in the right way, there's a great need that we have mental exercises as well. Physical exercises ke liye hum gym jaate hain, dosto. Mental exercises ke liye kahan jaate hain? Kya karte hain humare mental health muscles ko sahi tarike se fit rakhne ke liye? Kya karte hain jisse humare mental muscles bane rahe, shapeless nahi ho jaye, weak nahi ho jaye, atrophies nahi ho jaye? What do we do to keep them going? When I talk about mental exercise or mental fitness in terms of keeping our mental muscles active and going, here's a few things that we must do. Number one is make sure you, you channelize your mental energy into something constructive, something fruitful, something meaningful. It could be learning a new skill. It could be learning a new language. It could be... It could be giving your mental energy, your mental space and all your mental resources to your passion. Identify what your passion is. If you can figure out what your passion is and give that. We have our mental energy. We have a lot of mental energy. If we can channelize that mental energy into something constructive. Remember, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. If our mind is idle... It's going to play a lot of games. Of course, there are people who have serious issues and we should be very sensitive in speaking about these things. When people do have serious issues, then even in spite of engaging and giving their mental energy to anything constructive, still it might not be as easy to deal with our issues internally. Once again, do not hesitate. Approach a therapist, approach a psychologist, approach a psychiatrist, Approach a mental health professional, whoever it is, whatever is required to sort out those issues. But in a general case scenario, yes, it is very, very important to channelize our mental energy. Like we channelize our physical energy in strength training. We channelize our physical energy in acrobatics. We channelize our physical energy in athletics. We channelize our physical energy in gymnastics. We channelize our physical energy in yogic postures. We channelize our physical energy to keep our body fit. We need to channelize our mental energy to keep our mind fit. Learn something. Give your energy to your passion. And a very important aspect as well is to also try and see if we can channelize our mental energy towards a purpose. Whatever that is for you, to help, to serve, to be able to do something for others. The mind is peaceful. The mind is peaceful. The mind is calm. Our mental health is robust when that energy is channelized for a purpose. So passion and purpose. Give that energy there. Our mental muscles will remain active and fit as well. That's the second point. <laughs> Coming to the third and the fourth and we'll end very soon. Don't want to keep you for too long, guys. <coughs> Jaswinder Kaur on Facebook, Lalita Sevkumar, Parul Puri, Maya Kuntla Venkata Ramesh, Pritam Bishwas, Chanchal Mandal Maji. Thank you so much for joining in this evening. Nidhi Kukruja Arora, Sporsh Banik, Hare Krishna, Choyon Dev, uh, Minal Mujumdar. We are so glad that you are here with us this evening as well. Thank you for staying with us for this Facebook live session on the occasion of mental, World Mental Health Day. And here on Instagram, Vaibhav Kundra, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Ajay, Vaithya Nadan, Achiever, Praful. Oh, Praful, thank you so much for joining. So much looking forward to see you, Praful. Your Chaiwala business is incredibly well, <laughs> doing well. And I'm really, really eagerly looking forward to chatting with you soon. Hopefully, we can catch up soon someday here in Mumbai. Uh, whenever you're here in Mumbai, do let me know. Oh, Vaibhav, thank you so much. You're very kind. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, Ankita Pandey and Shobit Shekhar, uh, Meenal Mittal. So glad again that you're here with us. JSD Sonu, Hare Krishna, Vishal Sunigra. 
Thank you. I can keep ch- take chanting and calling out your names, but two more points to go, and I'm just going to quickly wind up the session by chatting about these two. The first two, do remember, number one, it's very, very crucial and important that for life for our physical wellness or physical fitness, we will keep people who are not healthy and who can infect us away. Similarly, for our mental fitness and our mental health, we should keep such people who influence us negatively away as well. Number two, like for our physical fitness, it's important to channelize our physical energy to stay fit in any form of exercise. For our mental fitness, it's very important that we channelize our mental energy in something constructive, following our passion, our uh, purpose, or just a skill, or a language, or any hobby, whatever. Channelize the mental energy. Let the mental muscles work well. Here's the third thing. For our physical fitness, guys, isn't it very crucial and important that we get good sleep? Sleep is such an important aspect of staying physically fit. You can do exercise. You can stay away from unhealthy people. But if you don't sleep well, you still are not physically healthy. If you don't sleep well, then you don't have to sleep. If you don't have to sleep well, then you don't have to sleep well. If you don't have to sleep well, then you don't have to sleep well. Sangeeta please give discourses in Marathi. Therefore, that one Marathi line in between. Sometimes I say a little bit of Marathi. I say a little bit of Marathi. Once in a while, but not everybody can understand Marathi. So need to keep it going in the right way, right? Yes, so sleep is very crucial as well, guys. Sona chahiye na. Che ghante se aad ghante ki neem to honi chahiye kam se kam. Six to eight hours. I know people who sleep for 10, 12, 14 hours. <laughs> 10 for 10 hours, 14 hours. God, it's been a while that I haven't slept for that long. God, I can't sleep like that for 10 to 12 hours. I did the day before yesterday. I must confess. Me dahata zoplo. Das ghanta soya me. But I was taking a certain medication. Suddenly I got a vertigo attack. I don't know why. Suddenly. This vertigo thing. And therefore they had to put me on some medication. Which just gave. Which just put me to sleep. <laughs> you know, so 10 hours after 26 years guys. I slept for 10 straight hours after 26 years. Can you imagine that? But yeah, for those of you who can sleep like a log, for those of you who can sleep like a stone, those for those of you who can sleep like Kumbhakarna, <laughs> my salute, <laughs> my respects, my pranams, my namastes. <laughs> I envy you guys. Not that I don't I sleep that bad, but I would like to sleep like an absolute stone for 10 hours some days. <laughs> At least once in a while. So I need some blessings of those who can do that. <laughs> sleep is very crucial, isn't it, for our physical health? And sometimes we know that we are physically lying in bed and sleeping and we are kind of half asleep, drowsy, but the mind is very active. I want to tell you something. Sometimes we sleep in the bed, but our mind is active. If there's too many thoughts going on in the mind while you're sleeping, if the mind is super active, if the mind is super dreamy all the time, when you get up, you're really not rested. And please take note of those days when you've not slept enough and your mind was so active in the night, not rested well, you're irritable the next day. You can't concentrate, you can't focus, you're irritable. If you don't sleep, then it's all over. And that's why one thing is very important, friends. The mind, Switch in the mind and mind. If the mind is active constantly, look, there are certain things that will come up in a dream, you don't have choice over that, you don't have control over that. But there are certain things that we can do to sleep in a way that thoughts are not going on in the back of the mind as we are sleeping. And one thing to do is to not put our mind into the mode of thinking before going to sleep. So I don't recommend reading before going to sleep because then you're thinking about it and you continue to, you take that into your sleep as well. I don't recommend looking at social media before going to sleep or your smartphone because then the mind is taking, going into that mode of thinking. So at least 30 minutes to, at least 30, I would recommend an hour, but at least 30 minutes to an hour before you go to bed 
my humble appeal ek nayi aadat lagaiyega on this world mental health day start cutting off from your social media and thinking anything that makes you and impels you to think before going to bed keep that away this enough through that's happened through the day anyways why add more in the evening right to the mind while you're going to sleep and therefore when you're sleeping before you sleep keep a cut off time for your smartphones for all the conversations that you have and before going to bed try and meditate try and pray chant whatever it is because you have to go into a state of thoughtlessness even for a little while 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes easy nahi hai thoughtless hona isliye roz practice karna padega na meditation aadat dalni padegi na dosto you have to go into that state where your mind is not thinking you're unwinding what's happened throughout the day and if we can do that trust me our sleep the quality of our sleep the quality of our rest will be good and we are able to sleep like when we are able to sleep like that what happens is it's going to reflect into a mental state when we are sleeping as well when we wake up we wake up fresh when we wake up we wake up not irritable when we wake up hey rishab what is this i'm not a superstar man <laughs> i read your comment <laughs> too kind na rishab <laughs> i happened to just read that comment i just had to interrupt and say i'm not a superstar <laughs> yeah but we definitely need to <clears throat> look at our sleep and for that meditate chant pray do unwind do whatever to get into that state of calm preferably thoughtlessness shant neend aayegi na mental health acha rahega regularly achhi tarah se sote rahenge uthenge acche se mental health stable rahega and here's the last point before we hey rishab shah again that super super star come on rishab shah <laughs> rishab you too kind man but thank you for your kind words follow your bliss thank you for joining us in star vinith yeah we'll probably take up a couple of sessions to learn how to meditate maybe we should start a couple of merit meditation sessions of you guys like to join give me a yes 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 if you want to learn meditation type yes in the comments if you want to learn meditation we'll probably start some meditation sessions so we can all learn how to meditate isn't it but uh, thank you all again uh, trinad thank you for being here with us rahil mahajan of so nooking 1 2 3 so happy to have you here mradul oh thank you mradul will probably yes reds will let's let's do some meditation classes urvi mayur mehta official thank you sir joy for joining us kupuri harsha thank you for being with us here on facebook saurav acharya abhinav chatterji deepika patange abhinav chatterji again thank you thank you thank you for being with us sandeep mishra i'm so glad that i could spend this time with all of you this evening on the occasion of mental health day talking about how our mental health can be kept robust how we can keep our mind healthy by treating our mind like we treat our body won't we keep unhealthy people away we will so that we don't get infected keep people who are unhealthy for your mental health away won't we exercise to keep our body fit for our to keep our mind fit shouldn't we exercise work on your passion work on your purpose learn something new channelize your mental energy to stay fit to be third won't you sleep well to keep your physical body healthy isn't it important to also put your mind to sleep not just your body to sleep and the mind is not going to easily sleep so yes a couple of hours half an hour 40 minutes before you go to bed meditate cut off from your smartphones and anything that makes you think and here's the last point for today yes hussein here's your name hussein umair i've i've taken your name before we go to the last point last point which is very important and cannot ever end without speaking about this for physical health the kind of food you eat the quality of food the quantity of food the nutrition in that food is extremely important so that we remain physically healthy and you should remember as it is said we are what we eat 
whatever we eat is not just affecting our bodies what we eat is affecting our minds too जो हम खाते हैं केवल हमारे शरीर को नरिश नहीं करता है हमारे मन पर भी उसका प्रभाव पड़ता है इसीलिए तो कहते हैं ना दोस्तों यू आर वॉट यू ईट मुझे ना एक बात हमेशा बहुत मेरे मन में रहती है ये बात कि माँ है ना माँ अ मदर्स माँ का क्या है ना इफ यू से मॉम एम ओ एम मॉम टर्न इट अराउंड इट बिकम्स वाव मॉम इज ऑलवेज अ वाव इज इनक्रेडिबल लेकिन एक बात याद रखिए दोस्तों माँ जो होती है ना आप अगर कभी बीमार नहीं होंगे तो माँ के हाथ का जो खाना होता है द मदर फीड जस्ट द मदर यू नो जस्ट जस्ट पैट इज एक्सट्रीमली हीलिंग वेन अ लिटल बेबी इज बॉर्न अ लेडी स्टार्ट लैक्टेटिंग वाई इट्स हर अफेक्शन इट्स हर लव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट मिल्क दैट शी फीड टू द बेबी विच इज सो नरिशिंग टू दैट चाइल्ड Which is so nourishing to that baby, a very wholesome nourishment that the child gets, <coughs> isn't it? मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ, Earth है ना, भू देवी, पृथ्वी, वो भी हमारी माँ है. Mother Earth, we call her Mother Earth. Earth is like our mother, guys. भू माता, we call her Mother Earth. And you know something? The mother provides us from within the earth. All those things that come out from Mother Earth is like the milk of a mother for a child, and the more we are in sync with nature, the more we are in sync with Mother Earth, the more we are in sync with trying to get nourishment and nutrition from what Mother Earth provides us, our mental health will be steady. Because what I mentioned earlier, you are what you eat. Food is not just for the body; food is for the mind. what we get from mother earth all those things that are meant for us is very healing it has a very healing touch ask any leading nutritionists in the world today and they'll ask us to go back to our traditional ancient way of living and eating all the celebrity nutritionists as well why because what mother gives us has a healing touch not just to our bodies but to our minds as well and apart from the food we eat मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ संस्कृत में इसको आहार कहते हैं आहार मीन्स वॉट एवर गोज इन फूड गोज इन थ्रू द माउथ बट सो मच गोज इन थ्रू द इयर्स वॉट वी आर लिसनिंग सो मच गोज थ्रू द आईज वॉट वी आर वॉचिंग सो मच गोज थ्रू एवरी थिंग दैट वी आर डूइंग ऑल आर सेंसेस सो मच कॉन्टेंट इज बीज कंज्यूम्ड ऑन सोशल मीडिया ऑन ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म ऑन टेलीविजन ऑन द बिग स्क्रीन्स सो मच कॉन्टेंट इज बीज कंज्यूम बाई रीडिंग आर्टिकल्स रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर्स रीडिंग बुक्स so much is going in guys and like we'd be very careful about the quality and the quantity of the content that we eat to keep our bodies healthy mind as well we should be very careful about all the other content we consume that keeps our mind healthy as well keep all those things that affect our mind negatively at the bay entertainment is good but if we over indulge in entertainment especially that which makes us tremendously negative and which takes our mind out of balance which can sometimes even make us a pervert it is very crucial and important that we observe monitor moderate regulate the quality of content we read consume watch hear because that does lead to maintaining our mental health in a good way or a bad way and therefore to conclude ladies and gentlemen like we always take care of our physical body by keeping unhealthy people away by exercising by sleeping by eating right do the same things to keep good mental health as well keep the unhealthy people for your mind out of the boundaries some in right people inside some at the bay on the boundary some outside the boundary at a distance a high hello relationship only exercise channelize your mental energy into something constructive into your passion into your purpose make sure you sleep well not just the body sleeping well but how can the mind sleep well meditate before you go to bed cut off from all those things that make you think cut off from your smartphones the social media before you go to bed at least some time before you go to bed and last but not the least observe moderate regulate the quality of content that we consume we will consume content we should consume right kind of content is no problem entertainment has its value everything has its place in our life 
just be more mindful of what you're taking in because whatever you're taking in is definitely affecting your mental health as well once again i'm so so very grateful to all of you for taking your time out to join us for this uh, facebook and instagram live session we sadly could not do the youtube live because of some glitch but this video will be put up on youtube as well for those who have were on youtube wanted to be on youtube and watch but uh, do share this with all of your friends do share with all of those people who think you whom you think may need this uh, uh, do share it with uh, anybody who you think will benefit out of hearing what we discussed this evening and uh, once again a word uh, uh, an important word to be said and spoken if there are serious issues in a general case all what we said can be done and like i said we'll do well with our mental health without having to go to anybody but if we have serious issues and i mentioned earlier if we can't bounce back easily we are constantly in that loop of negativity chronically in that loop i think we do need professional help as well uh once again thank you all very much uh instagram and facebook i love all of you very much and hope to see you all very soon again Uh, to do a live session and interact with all of you maybe even some meditation sessions but thank you all very much wishing you a great evening if you are in india and a uh, my warm greetings to anyone else all of you who are joining from other parts of the world thank you all very much have a great evening